Magazine is out with their best restaurants edition. And joining me now, Cincinnati Magazine editor in chief John Fox. John, thank you for being here. You're welcome. You know, let's get into a couple of things right out of the sure. shoot. First of all, the restaurant business is a tricky business. And coming out of the pandemic, I know officially, what May we decided May, officially yeah. we we're supposed to be out of the pandemic in May. Um, but with lockdowns and everything else, this is the first time you've even done this edition in what? Three, in three years, in yeah. Three so years. Every March we would do a top ten list, and uh, occasionally we do a top ten new restaurant list. Yeah. But yeah, we haven't done it since 2020, and it just wasn't right. I mean, we did other food-focused covers in March sure. the last couple of years, but we've returned to ranking the restaurants, so we have a top ten list. Although we couldn't, uh, we're journalists, we're not mathematicians, so we have. 12 restaurants in our top 10 12, list. Well, that happened. Yeah. You know, that yeah. we're not, that's why we yeah. got into this business. That's exactly and not right. something else. Yeah. Uh, and, and something else that sort of speaks to what restaurants have, have gone through and just the difficulty of that industry just generally. This is the cover you will see on the digital issue. Correct. Right? But the actual print issue has a different picture. Tell me about that. So Royce Restaurant, which uh, was uh, right at the corner of Fifth and Vine, right across from Fountain Square, was uh, a photo of their food, was on our cover for the print edition, and they were ranked in our top 10 list. Yeah. Great restaurant. But uh, while our issue was at the printer, being printed and being uh, put in the mail to subscribers, they closed suddenly. Yeah. Was it last, the week before last? So, um, so the, the print issue was already out. It was already being mailed to subscribers. So um, this launched, uh, our digital issue launched on the first of the month. So this just launched uh, late last week. And so, yeah, we switched it up. The, the food is now one of, is from Ivory House, actually, okay. over in Westwood. Love yeah. Ivory House. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. boy, that's good stuff. And so we, we moved things around. We moved uh, 9 and 10 up to 8 and 9. Sure. And then we... Had a three-way tie for ten. That's how we ended up with twelve. <laughs> with, your, with your twelve, sure. Yeah. No, it all makes so sense. So if now. you look at on a cincinnatimagazine.com, it'll be slightly different than you would see in print. Sure, yeah. sure. How do you go about even picking the businesses? Because at this point, there are so many well-renowned restaurants yeah. in our area. Where do you yeah. start? Well, you start. We start with a, a universe of probably about thirty or thirty-five restaurants, okay. and, and we really focus on fine dining. And you know, people will tell us, "Well, why didn't you put?" La Rosa's or Skyline in your top 10 sure. list. Well, they're fantastic places, but we really, these, this list really focuses on fine dining. Yeah. And so, um, so there is a universe of those, and, and, and we also look at what we've written about in the last year or so. And then we narrow it down to probably about 20 to 25 restaurants, and we go and eat at every one of those new again. So whether it's Ivory House or it's Boca or it's Mita's, we're not relying on, we were there five years ago and it was great. Yep. We're there again and we usually do it in the fall, you know, November, December kind of thing. And then we rank them and we end up with a point system and we come up with 12 restaurants in our top, top 10. 10. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, you, you know, I want to talk about something special you did in this edition as well, because I think a lot of the, the executive chefs and different things at the restaurants that made that top 10 would credit Cincinnati becoming the foodie city yeah. it has become to one man. John Robert. Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, you know, you could call him the godfather, you could call him the shaman, you could call him the spiritual <laughs> leader. Yeah. I mean, so we did a whole page of photographs from over the years you can see here. He was on our cover quite a bit uh, when he was first in town at the Masonette, and then when he branched out and started all of his own restaurants. And that's another example. So um, two of his restaurants were in our top 10 not that long ago, Restaurant L and Table. Yeah. They both closed. Um, and then... Uh, but one of his restaurants, La Barra Bouffe, did make our top 10 list this year. So it seems um, there's a lot of symmetry there. And that's why we ended up doing a bunch of photos, as you'll see, uh, of him in the magazine over the years. And you're right, so many people in this business in Cincinnati owe their, either their start or at least their, the encouragement to get out on their own to him, to yeah. John Robert. The food scene will owe very much to him for a very long time. Well, yeah. it is the it is the top 10, 12-ish, 10-ish uh, <laughs> restaurants edition. Uh, we appreciate you coming in and talking about sure, it more, John. Yeah. Best to you. Mate. All right, thank we'll you. We'll see you again soon, I'm sure. It's uh, 921. We've heard about the best restaurants. How about some dessert?